Hi everybody, so first of all, I would like to apologize for my voice. I'm still recovering from a flu. Can you read this are harsh? Let me tell you that. Uh, this is my third winter in Canada and I'm still not used to it. Probably never will. <laughs> anyway, i uh, just like to make a quick update about my permanent license application. So on November 5th, 2014, and after 14 months since I sent my application, I received a an answer from CHA Immigration Canada. I see this letter right here. Uh, it's a letter of pre-approval. My application was pre-approved and that's great. And on this letter it says, it has been determined that you meet eligibility requirements to apply for permanent residence as a member of the spouse or common law partner in Canada class. Please note that a final decision will not be made until all remaining requirements for becoming a permanent residence have been met. These requirements include medical security and background checks for you and if applicable all of the family members both in Canada and abroad if, even if they are not applying to join in Canada at this time. So, good news, my application was pre-approved. Not so good news uh, is that there's still more to come, there's, my application is not finished yet. Uh, this was just the initial assessment. Uh, which took 14 months for them to give me an answer. Uh, now I still have another 8 months for medical evaluation, criminal uh, and background checks. So they already have my uh, medical evaluation which I sent last year with one, my entire application. They're already processing that and uh, on this letter they also asked me for the set of my fingerprints. Uh, this is for my uh, uh, criminal record check. So uh, I check on CIC's website uh, and there's three companies in Canada who uh, are registered and accredited with RCMP and with Citizenship Immigration Canada to uh, perform digital fingerprinting. If one of them has an office in Edmonton, Alberta, where I live. I call them, I book an appointment. Um, so I went there and uh, they took my fingerprints on a digitally on a machine they have. They took my uh, fingerprints for my 10 fingers as well. They took a picture of me as well. And they sent uh, those to uh, RCMP, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, who then, like, around one week later, sent me the results by mail. So uh, what I got from there, and by the way, I had to pay around $60, $60 and some cents uh, for that, out of my pocket, of course. Uh, so at the time, they gave me this paper for my records. So this is my fingerprints, this is my picture, all that. And um, a week, around one week later, I received this letter from the RCMP. So there's uh, my right thumb, right finger index left thumb, left index, and my photo, and on these, these letters here, these tiny letters, are in, both in English and French, the results of my uh, uh, criminal uh, record check. Anyway, uh, now I have to put all this together and send to uh, Citizenship Immigration Canada. On the letter they sent me, there's the, the address where I need to send them. Uh, it's uh, the case processing center in Mississauga, Ontario. Uh, I'm gonna send the letter from the RCMP with the results, as well as the paper they gave me with all my 10 fingerprints, uh, as well as the letter I received from the Citizenship and Mission Canada. And this is really important because this letter contains my UCI number and my application number. So it's really important to go with my fingerprints so they can know exactly who these fingerprints belong to, which application these fingerprints belong to. So uh, that's it. Uh, which is this quick update. Uh, it's been a long time waiting. I sent my application in August 2013 and uh, this was the first time I received uh, a reply from Citizenship Immigration Canada since then. So, uh, and I received this in November 2014, so um, a little bit more 14 months approximately. Long time waiting and it's really, I, it's really hard not knowing if your application can be approved or not, I mean this uncertainty, 
but um, the the time compensated and uh, now I'm on the right track to get my PR. So I'm gonna send this as soon as I get better for my flu. And uh, they stay on this letter they give me until um, February 2015 for me to send. So I have plenty of time, but of course I'm gonna send as soon as possible because as soon as I send the documents, as soon as the rest of my application gets uh, processed, and uh, as soon as I get my PR card and uh, and this journey ends. Uh, so. Just uh, wanted to tell all of you who are passing through the same thing, just uh, hang on in there and be strong and uh, don't let time in those 14 months until an initial assessment to, um, to let you down. Continue to uh, live your life and have hope. And everything will be fine. Okay? I'm making this to in recording my journey uh, on getting permanent residence to help all of you who are passing through the same situation. Um, so feel free to send your comments or questions. And please be aware that I'm not a lawyer or immigration consulting, nothing of that. I'm just a person, like all of you, passing through the same process, like all of you. Um, and But I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Okay? Bye-bye.